Good day. Today we're gonna attach clothes to a what's it called a <laughs> model avatar uh, armature. We're gonna attach them together. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, it's like if you buy uh, clothes on Booth, you usually just get a piece of cloth with an armature attached, and uh, you have to put it on the model yourself. So I'm gonna show how to do it in uh, Blender now. Uh, then you can use it in uh, like uh, CVR or VR chat or uh, like uh, VRM if you're gonna do VTubing. But yeah, we're gonna look at that. So first we're gonna delete everything. Uh, I'm gonna import my uh, my testing model. Let's see. Uh, and I'm also gonna import a made uniform that I found on Booth. So there we go. So now we have our stuff imported. So we have the made uniform here. And we have the the model. So we're gonna attach this made uniform to this uh, character. Uh, it's gonna reset the location. Uh, yeah, also, if you want to see the colors of your character, uh, you can go to the arrows up here and do uh, texture. So now we get colors and everything. We can also do uh, flat, so we get uh, like yeah, flat shading or tune shading. Uh, in case you have any missing textures, like if they are pink, uh, you can like go to uh, the shader. We're gonna go to shader. Uh, we select the part that is pink. Now none of mine are pink, but if you have a pink part, uh, then usually you have to select the the correct texture. So you do the folder here and then just select the file which contains the correct texture and you should be fine. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna attach these clothes. So the first thing we want to do is to uh, align the clothes with the, with the model, with the, with, like with the body. Uh, and the way we want to do this is we want to uh, select the armature of the clothes. So now we have the clothes selected, the armature here. Like you have the armature and then you have the mesh. It's like if you select the mesh, the the armature will be stuck. And you, you don't want that, you want to move everything. Uh, so we're gonna select the armature and then we're gonna try to put this in place. So uh, let's see, we can look from side and front. And I'm gonna try to move this a bit back, like so. Move it a bit down, maybe. And I'm gonna scale the arms are a bit short. So I'm gonna do them, make them longer. So I'm gonna scale everything. And I'm gonna, sc gonna scale a bit on Y as well. There we go. Isn't it doesn't have to be very accurate, just kinda accurate. So I'm just gonna keep it something like this. It's it's good enough. Yeah, uh, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, so that's good. We can uh, now expand like these two, like we have the the body. We can actually name this body just for, for it to be obvious. And do made, so we have body and made. Now we can you know, hide all these ones. Uh, 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 uh. And I'm also gonna hide the maid. So now we have uh, these both are armatures. So we have the body armature and we have the uh, maid armature. So what we want to do now, when we have aligned this, oh right, I forgot. After we uh, moved everything into place, we want to select the, the maid clothes. We want to do uh, Control A. And then we want to apply all transforms, otherwise it will break when we combine them. Uh, but yeah, so whenever you change, like if you move this to some other place, you want to uh, apply the transforms. Like if you rotate it or scale it to match, you want to apply the transforms. Uh, but yeah, so when we have it aligned, uh, we want to uh, 
remove uh, like any duplicate bones. So you can see here we have like we have a chest bone here and we have another chest bone here. And like we have the shoulder bone here and another shoulder bone here. So like the maid outfit has some bones and the body has like some bones and where they are the same we want to remove them on the maid bone. So we go to the maid and we do tab to go edit mode and then we're just gonna remove everything that's duplicate so this is like the the head neck bone we already have head bone and neck bone on the body so we're gonna remove those it's gonna remove the arms we don't need them remove these arms as well Let's see now we have chest then we have spine and then we have hips down here we also have leg and the leg Another leg, another leg. Now, uh, the skirt bones we want to keep because those are, those are not duplicates. So we want to keep those. But uh, apart from that, uh, we want, just want to clean like the duplicate bones. And that is done now. So we're gonna unhide uh, this one. We can do that now. Uh, and we're also gonna unhide the character. Uh, also we can leave the edit mode with the tab again like if you or you can like select it up here. So. But now when we have cleaned up the bones we want to merge these two together. There's a fly in here. <laughs> we want to merge these two together so we select the maid, the maid armature and then the body armature with the control click so you select both. So now it's in both are selected, not just one. And then we do uh, object and then join. So now we have everything under the same, under the body. Uh, 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 okay, I should rename this armature again. It doesn't really matter, but it's more, more obvious that way. Uh, yeah, so the next step is to check if uh, the character moves along with the uh, with the armature. So right now we can't see the like the bones; they are behind. So we want to put them in front. So we can go here on the armature properties, and then on the view display and in front. So now we have all the bones in front instead. So to check if everything moves, we can do the pose mode. And we can select the hips. The hips is connected to everything else. So it's like the root bone, so everything is connected to the hips in some way. So like the the arm is connected to the shoulder, which is connected to the chest, and then to the spine, and then to the hips. So everything goes to the hips eventually. So if we press G and try to move this, we can see that oh, only the body moves, which is very bad. Uh, so we're gonna fix that. So usually uh, when we combine two armatures, we have to change uh, which armature each mesh belongs to. So we select the made uniform, the mesh, not the armature this time. And then we go to the uh, what's called modifier properties. And here we can see that we don't have an object. Like this is the way the, which armature the mesh belongs to. So we select the armature. You can do the same for the hat. So now the, they belong to the armature. So now we can select the armature again and do the pose and see if it moves. Okay, now the chest moves, but not the arms. Uh, so how it works in Blender with bones and such is that each bone has a name. So if we go to edit mode and select this bone, you can see that the bone name is chest up here. And when we look at the made uniform, if we select the made uniform and go to the vertex or the object data properties in the vertex groups, we can see if we go somewhere here, we have a vertex group named chest. So this vertex groups re respond to this bone. If we look in the weight painting, we can see that the chest is uh, belongs to like all that is red or not blue belongs to the chest. So whenever the chest moves, 
uh, the red moves. Uh, so this means that uh, we have to go through these names and see if we have any mismatch in the names. So we can start by looking at yeah, the chest works, but the arms didn't work. So we can look at the shoulder, for example. The shoulder is called shoulder dot, uh, capital L. So we can go back to the uh, made uniform and see that we have left shoulder, which is, I assume is the shoulder. If we go to weight paint, weight paint, we can see, okay, it doesn't have any weight painting. Uh, if the arm, oh, the arm has weight painting. But yeah, the arm is uh, is named left arm and left shoulder, but uh, but the bones here are named like shoulder dot l and uh, upper arm dot l. So this this doesn't match. So what we want to do then is we want to rename these uh, vertex groups on the made uniform to match the bones. So if we name this shoulder dot l maybe we do the arm as well so it was called uh, upper arm dot l so and this one i guess is lower arm dot l so if we rename this we do the posing again if we select the hips we can see that the the clothes move now you can probably rotate this as well. So yeah, we have to go through all the all the bones and uh, check that the name matches the uh, vertex group. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna speed run this and uh, go through all everything and uh, see you when I'm done. And we also have to go through the, the legs as well. They are probably mismatched as well because they didn't, didn't move. Uh, so we're gonna check the legs. Uh, see, this leg is called upper leg right and this is left, I guess, yeah. Just gonna change those as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. So uh, now if we do post mode again, select the hips. We try to move this. You can see that, um, oh, it is something. Maybe I misspelled something, I'm gonna check. Uh, oh, this got named, uh, I named it the wrong thing, so like that. Okay, now it should work. Select it and everything moves. Perfect, except the skirt. So we have to look at the skirt next. Now, uh, when we combined the made armature with the body armature, uh, these, uh, what's it called, these uh, bones here, they were probably connected to the hips of the old armature. And now they are not connected to uh, like, or the hips of the old armature, yeah. And now they are not connected to any hips, so we have to connect them. So in here we have the bone, uh, bone properties. We can do relations here. You can see there are no parent. So usually this, if you look at this bone, you have the bone 24, which is the one above, I guess, which is connected to the one above, I guess. And this one is connected to nothing. If you look at the chest, you can see the chest is connected to the spine and the spine is connected to the hips. And then the hips is like the root, so they don't, they're not connected to anything. But we want to connect uh, all these ones to the hips to make them move. Uh, and we can do that either by just selecting each and just doing, doing it this way. Or we can uh, select everything with, you can shift click to select multiple. I'm just gonna shift click and select everything. Also the, for the ribbon, I'm gonna select as well. Like on the back, you have the the ribbon. Uh, and now, we, if we only if we click here now, only the latest bone that we selected will get uh, get the like the setting. But to get everyone to get the setting, you have to hold Alt while you click it 
So if I hold Alt now and click it, it will get set to everything. So now the each bone has the hips. Uh, but yeah, now we can do post mode again and do a, another check. And now everything moves, which is perfect. We can like rotate. And it moves, which is great. Uh, so that's really good. Now uh, we can try to get rid of this clipping here. Like the bones are like, or the clothes are attached to the mesh now. We are actually done, but we can like clean up this and make it look even better. So um, I'm gonna hide the armature, doing the little eye icon up here to hide it. Uh, and then we're gonna select the made uniform and do uh, uh, tabs to get the edit mode. And then we want to use the proportional editing, which is this button up here. Now, when you are in, in this mode, you can like, when you move something, if, you, if you're not in this mode, you only move one vertex. But if you are in this mode, you can move a lot more vertex. And the area that gets affected is, you can like use the scroll wheel to shrink this area. So we can uh, use this to like select some point and just pull everything until it looks like good enough. This is like, you can spend a lot of time to make this look good, but I'm just gonna do it like real quick. But yeah, this is, you can spend how much time you want doing this, like to make it look better. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with this. Also, the hat, we cannot forget the hat. It's like located inside the head. Uh, so I'm gonna go to, uh, no, I'm gonna just drag it up, I think. Yeah, something like that. Okay, it doesn't even look that good. I'm gonna remove it actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so uh, this is how you attach clothes to a model. And uh, this is uh, ready to be exported to like uh, Unity or Unreal or whatever you decide to run. And you can like pose it and stuff. Now, uh, when you move the bones, you will get some clipping. And I actually recommend that if you're only gonna have one set of clothes on your avatar that you... Oh, the head is... Oh, wait. I'm just gonna fix the head. Is it the wrong scale, maybe? Yeah, it's the wrong scale. There we go. Okay, now. Uh, but yeah, I recommend that you, like if you have a, a body mesh, that you remove, like if vertices are behind cloth, you can just remove them. No one's gonna notice them anyway. And if they clip, like you can just remove it behind. It's like we can, uh, 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 we can do like, just remove everything that's behind. So this way, now you don't have clipping anymore. So we can just remove this. So now there is no mesh behind it, so there can't be any more clipping. Uh, and you also save a bit of vertices if you're gonna, like in VRChat you have a limit on how many vertices you can have. So it's a good way to save vertices as well. But um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I will see you again later. Bye bye.